Alright, uh, does that sound better, guys? Give me a minute. I have my gain all the way up. Give me a minute. Give me a second, I'm uh, fixing that, guys. Stand by. Get that fixed. I did share cockpit last um, stream, so I had to balance out the audio for that. And we're out. Yep, uh, give me a second. On my side, it sounds good now. Alright, we'll put that all the way up here. Let me bring it closer to me. Better, awesome. Okay, um, sorry about that, guys. A little bit of a delay there. It's a little hard with uh, afternoon shared cockpit, and it's a little loud out. So this is the CRJ 1000, which is um, the largest CRJ in the CRJ lineup, which consists of the CRJ 200, the 700, the 550, 550 which is a CRJ um, 700 converted. Though it uh, holds less passengers, but it's more roomy. Um, you have the CRJ 900, and now the CRJ 1000. I'd like to be, give a big shout out to the developers that uh, were happy enough to give me a key here to show you guys what they've been working so hard on in their amazing lineup now. So now we have almost a full fleet of CRJs, and yeah, it's pretty. Um, when we start to do a walk around, I'll give you guys a walk around of the outside. It is probably one of the best texture work I've seen. Um, I think it beats texture work with the uh, hot start. I think uh, textures on this is better than the hot start, which the hot start is double the price. Now, yeah, the hot start is very advanced, but the texture work, I think this takes the cake for it, personally. Um, so, yeah. Um, playing work with the Airbus. Uh, I don't know. You can ask uh, the developer in the chat. I am using a side tech throttle split throttle and a honeycomb yoke so uh, we'll give that a shot um so yeah um let me turn off the gpu guys that gpu is very loud give me a second uh i need to find where the gpu is here we go there we go gpu is a little loud sorry about that oh yeah that is so much better guys okay so yep um you can see give me a minute Give me a second, guys. Sorry about that. I got interrupted. <laughs> so, if you have a look at the texture work, look out. You can see all the rivets, individual rivet rivets here. Um, the exterior looks fantastic. Um, I don't know if I've ever seen texture work this good in a long time. I am very impressed with the, the amount of textures in the gear and stuff. It looks gorgeous. You come around here. They've detailed the baggage, um, the cargo hold, very nicely. Um, I'm a big fan of the cargo hold. Um, surprisingly, the CRJ is actually quite tall. I was told that in real life by a real CRJ pilot. I messaged him and he said it's a fairly tall aircraft. Um, it's, oh, I can't remember, he said it's like, from the tail to the top, it's more than like 10 feet, I think he said, I can't remember. It's a... It's quite tall. It was loud. Yeah, I know it was. So, uh, yeah, wind textures are beautiful. We come down at the gear. Look at the textures of that, guys. Um, the developer, if you're still here, fantastic job. I cannot say thank you enough for giving me the opportunity to show this off. And I'm very happy that I got to work with you all, got you all on like getting to be able to fly this thing here and thank you for letting me try this out on the channel here um so yeah texture works beautiful we're flying it as delta the american livery is not out yet because they're having an issue with their um i think it's their website or the forum thing but we'll have that later on and we have a bot uh glenn can you deal with the bot please so yeah we have the cargo hold here it has three cargo holds so it can hold decent out of cargo here's the engines um and i have a few that the uh, few things the developer told me uh that i could tell you guys about the aircraft here so we come around here we have all of our static stuff apus back there very nice on the texture work all the way around probably some of the best i've seen so far 
Um, yeah, pretty nice here. Um, let's keep on going around towards the front here. Uh, so, yeah, there's the gear there. CRJ-1000. This is where you would open and close. Um, this is where the ground power will be plugged into. Um, yeah, it took me a little bit to get used to it again, but we'll hopefully hopefully get into it quickly. Yeah, luckily for me, I've been flying a lot of the Challenger 650, so I'm pretty pretty good on flying the CRJs. That's been my big aircraft so far. Um, so here we are. Button. Yeah, I heard that it's decently tall, though. So, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and do a walk around on the cabin. And let me bring up that list for you all, guys. Uh, give me a minute. He sent me a list here. I need to find it. Uh, here we go. Alright, so, um, autopilot. So the autopilot has been completely redone. Um, and it is... It flies much better, I've been told here. And I can feel that a difference. When you're going to sit at the seats... Okay, well, yeah. Oh, you're on Twitch? Okay, yeah. Um, I don't know how to give you mod on Twitch. Alright, we'll need to deal with that later. It's fine. So, yeah, um, Autopilot's been completely redone. Um, it flies better. I can feel that when I've done a few things. Uh, they are working on something pretty big here, which I think you all would be very excited for. They're adding a custom FMC, or, um... CDU, CDU is what's called in, yep, it's a CDU, same thing, FMC, CDU. So, they're adding a custom CDU, which will give us more features, um, nah, nah, I, I think the height's okay. Um, yeah, beautiful texture work in the cockpit, I love the texture on the throttles and how you can put them into idle. With many aircraft, they just snap into idle. I messed with the uh, original CRJ's 200, and it just snaps into idle. You know, it's kind of weird. Um, it's not as good as that. Uh, circuit breakers are not functional yet, but they are clickable. So they're ready to do... Ground crew are inside of us. Okay, we're going to ignore them. Uh, they don't know what they're doing here in LaGuardia, apparently. Um, so yeah, circuit breakers are going to be ready to do whatever they need here. Um... We'll continue on through the cabin. So this aircraft comes with a lot of Easter eggs. Uh, I'll show you guys the door animation. Some Easter eggs that I think are not necessary, but and like I'm never going to use at the time. But hey, it just adds that realism, and I love it. Um, like how the soap works in the bathrooms. Uh, let me move here. Whoops, I'm stuck on something. There we are. So let's open up the lavatory. And we're going to walk on in here. Yeah, functioning soap, which I don't know why you need that. You got a functioning toilet. No need, but awesome. Um, you know, just in case you want to have, like, if you have to leave the cockpit to use the bathroom in real life, you just go to the toilet here and you just go lock. And now you're using the bathroom. Pretty dang cool. I love it. Um, sink works. It looks like, I, I don't know if it's actually moving, but it looks like it is clickable there. Um, every single, I'm not joking, literally every single window shade works. I don't know how long it took you guys to model this, but I do not even want to know. Because if I was to model something like this, I would get bored halfway through this. Try to model it. So yeah, that's why, um, I do not... Soap. <laughs> yes, we can use the soap one. Yes, yeah, so that's why, um, yeah, I've never attempted developing an aircraft I wanted to, but I feel like I'd get bored, even though I know how to code. Which is good. Um, every single bin works, which is another ridiculous thing. Every single seat moves. Give me a minute, guys. Uh, that, that one was just a fluke. There we go. Every single seat moves. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll just ignore... It. Maybe I broke something. Let me check it on this side. Yeah, maybe just the front seats don't seem to... I don't know if they are supposed to go back or what. Yep, so those move. Uh, these do not have tray tables here, but if we continue to the back here, we do have tray tables here, which is awesome. Let me... I find them finicky sometimes. Give me a minute, guys. Let me get one that will, I can actually open. There we go. Tray tables come down. Perfect. Um, 
Now, keep in mind, um, I would say do not use your tray tables in flight. Um, yeah, you do get crushed a little bit, but you know, hey, you're flying a CRJ. What do you expect? You expect full comfort like you're flying a private jet? No, you're not getting that here. Not not, not at least on um, my airline here of Delta here. Yeah. So, yep, we'll put those back up. And, yep, uh, same bathroom in the rear. Windows overhead bins work. So, let's get to the cockpit here. I'll show you guys the lighting system. We'll get some ground power on, and we'll get this baby going out of um, LaGuardia here. Uh, don't think we have ATC online right now. We have Boston online, but look, not anything in LaGuardia. All right. Extra power is firing up. Nice. All right. And uh, we're going to go ahead go to overhead panel. Overhead panel looks fantastic. Nice job there, guys. I'm very happy with how that looks. All right, so we're going to go ahead and fire up the um, overhead panel. So external power on, battery on. We'll give that a second to warm up before we do DC electronics. There we go, and we'll go DC on. Boom. Now if we go to the cabin here. We are going to go ahead and door assist. Well, I don't understand what the door assist does, but it's something. I've never understand what door assist does on an airplane. Can you tell me what that does? Because <laughs> I don't know. Um, we'll get our lights on bright. Table closed in the front. Okay, interesting. Um, entry lights, we'll turn them on and bright and aft lights. Um, they're not bright right now, but I, yeah, they are definitely on, I think. Am I doing something wrong? <laughs> I'm looking stupid trying to figure out the lights now. Okay, guys, how do we turn on lights? Yep. No? Yes. Yeah, um, give me a minute. I... I, th I definitely know. There we go. Lights. I definitely know what I was doing, guys, okay? Nobody make fun of the, me trying to figure out how to turn on lights, okay? I'm definitely a professional. There we go. Okay. So yeah, we're going to jump into the cockpit here, and we'll get this baby firing up here. Need to remember my flows. Uh, there we go. I flew this yesterday a bit. Uh, I need to find the right button. There we go. Awesome. All right, so back up to the overhead panel here. We're going to go hydraulics to the auto position. I'm assuming auto position just like the Challenger, except for your, th uh, is that your 3A? Yeah, 3A pump would be on. And does that close? I don't know how that works in the actual Challenger. Well, in the Challenger, that would close the uh, thing, the uh, front nose uh, door um, when you pull out the pins and stuff. So we got that on going down the checks here. We got our nav lights. Uh, can I use this? Okay, I cannot use the switches on my actual yoke. That's fine. All right, we're going to come here. We're going to put our thing on there, and we'll turn... Are those our packs? All right, we cannot touch our packs. I thought those worked before at one point. Okay, packs do not seem to work. Is that something I should be worried about? Eh, probably not. We'll be good. Pro Pete's on, auto, low. I mean, on that. Uh, cow anti-icing off. We do not need cow anti-icing. Everything looks good there. Um, everything looks good there. That's all set. Seatbelt signs, we'll put those to the auto position. And emergency exit lights are on the armed. We'll pop this up, make sure we got everything. Anti-skid inbound. Let's do our anti-skid here. Uh, there's no anti-skid test like uh, there is in the um, CR in the Challenger. Okay, they do not work. Awesome. Okay, thank you for telling me that. That helps a lot. I was getting a little worried. Uh, the packs... Oh, that's the APU. Where's the packs on this thing again? God dang. Oh, yeah, the, those are them. Never mind. I don't know why I was thinking. I'm used to where the stuff is laid out on the um, challengers. Oop, I'm trying to start the AP with the door closed. Let's get that going. Don't want to make an incident there where we accidentally start an APU and burn a hole through a door. That'd be bad. All right, um, APU door open, fuel pumps, mock trim, we'll do that now. Um, mock trim, good, stab trimmed, I think I only need to press once. 
Yep, because uh, they don't both work now. Okay, I remember that. I talked to him uh, once before the developer on the, I think it was the 700 one, and he said only the, uh, you can only press it once because um, limitations with X-Plane, which I feel like X-Plane needs to fix that because you have this awesome aircraft and it doesn't work like that. All right, we'll go to our CDU here. Um, flight plan, here we go. Let me grab the flight plan, guys. Uh, let me pop this over to my other screen so I can see the flight plan. I, um, origin is K, whoops, I need a, I, K, L, G, A, LaGuardia. Can I type? Oh, no. Awesome, awesome. Nice. Yeah, this is going to be a cool airplane when it's done. I think when you have all these systems here, it's going to be pretty awesome. KL... Ooh, I actually added a space. Uh, I'm trying to get used to... Keep in mind, guys, uh, last airplane I flew was... Um, KCL2. Last aircraft I flew recently was the... Um, Challenger, so I need to remember I'm not flying a Challenger here, and I need to do things not as a Challenger. E, our call sign is Endeavor, EDV, Endeavor, Endeavor 1888, click known, and that is good there, and we'll execute that. Route menu, uh, yep, never mind, I don't have a route menu there, okay. Um, so we're gonna start getting our route in. Stand by, let me grab our briefing review. Let me go flight plan, VNAV. Our mock speed for today's flight is, I think it's gonna be Mach 0.80. I think it's 0.80. Well, we could just leave that 7.5 most likely. It won't hurt anything. Um, let me see, what's our mock? Yeah, we'll leave that, uh, we'll do Mach 0.75 today on our way over. I need to do. Is it zero point? Yeah, just point seven five. There we go. That's good. Awesome. Next page. Cruising altitude for today's flight, guys. We are gonna be flying at a lovely flight level three eight zero on our way over to Laguardia. Not Laguardia. Three eight zero. We're gonna pretend that I'm saying Laguardia, guys. Oh, unable cruise. Give me a minute. <laughs> I feel stupid here. Three. Eight zero. Thirty-eight thousand. Unable cruise altitude. What are you talking about here? Unable cruise. Can somebody help me here? I don't know what's going on. Am I just being stupid or no? <laughs> Unable cruise altitude. Huh. Okay, right, I think we'll be fine if we leave that blank for now. Uh, we'll just continue on. Next page. Uh, next page. Okay, that's good. We'll just leave it like that. I think it'll be... It should be okay. Famous last words. We'll be good. Alright. Um... So, okay, our routing is direct biggie. Give me a minute. Uh, I need to go legs. Here we go. So we're going direct to Biggie initially. B I. Whoops. B I. What is it? B I G G Y G G. Y. And I need to find the right Biggie. Give me a minute, guys. Uh, let me see what Biggie we're going to. Biggie North zero four one one nine. Yep, it's the first option. Biggie Laguardia. Biggie, nice. Yes, I own the Challenger six fifty uh, cheese. Uh, Biggie, and then from and then we go Airways. I need to remember how to enter an Airway. Biggie. Via 
I will leave out airways because I need to remember. I will leave out the airways and just go jiv. Trying to get used to this thing. I'm always used to flying Airbus. So yeah, I need to get used to flying something a little different. OIH. OIH is Lynchburg VOR. Let me just double check that real quick. I'm pretty sure that is the first one. I just want to double check. I need to find Lynchburg. Lynchburg should be the first one. LYH. Uh, LYH Lynchburg is West Seven Nine. Uh, okay, it's that one. Yep, good. We got it. Sorry guys, it's taking me a little bit to set this thing up. I'm normally used to just hitting a single button, which will insert our flight plan. <laughs> but um, unfortunately, that's not how that works here. All right, arrivals. So we are going to go ahead. We are going to keep that blank for now because we are not done yet. All right. And um, we'll, we'll execute that. Awesome. There we go. Okay. And um, about the crew. Hello, Wunkum. Um... I will. I don't know how to pronounce that. I am so sorry. I'm not great with pronouncing names sometimes. All right. Um. I need to figure out how to get that cruise altitude to work. There we go. Now it's in. Yes, we got it, guys. We will be able to do this now. We are good. Three eight zeros are cruising altitude today. Uh, transition things there. Prog's page is all set. This will show us our top of descent and all that, which is awesome. And VNAV set. I think we're good to go there. We got everything set there. And we'll go ahead and get our passengers and fuel loaded. Today we are carrying a whole 91 passengers. Almost a full flight here. 91. And fuel for today's flight in kilograms. Because I always use kilograms for aviation. Don't know why. Fuel is... 33... Point six. Not uh, it's five. Okay, we'll take. We're not needing that much, so we'll do seven eight hundred, just to be certain that we'll make it. Because I'm still new to this aircraft, we want to be careful, and we will load takeoff speeds, which will then put them in here. These are our takeoff speeds, and we'll go ahead and figure out what runway we are going to be using for departure. Adex. All right. Addicts. Okay. Um, I'll work on that. I'm bad with names. I am so sorry, guys. Right, uh, let's go KLGA. Because metric makes more sense. In ways, yes. Um, Altundra is 3003. We'll set that, baby. Yes, it does in ways make more sense. But personally, I don't fly metric that much. Um, like... When I fly the Challenger, I fly in pounds, because that's what it defaults to, and it's easier <laughs> to work with that. That is set there, and we will get everything closed up here. But yeah, um, it does make more sense in ways, but yeah, um, we'll go ahead. That cockpit, uh, cabin door is getting shut there. We'll go on Unicom 1228, and we will make sure we're listening to that. And we are going to be departing. I need to get our departure. Departing. We need to figure out what runway we're departing here. Uh, winds are 330 at 7 knots. Visibility, blah, 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 blah. Visibility is 10 statute miles. Um, RNAV approaches. Departing runway 4 at Bravo 4. So we'll expect runway 4 for departure. And we are direct out. Runway 4. Execute. That's active legs. We will go through this. Make sure it's all good, which we have no discos. And we'll go ahead and put this in plan mode, and we'll we'll go ahead and get running out of here. Um, EP generators on. We'll turn off. Oh, okay, it's already off. Good. Uh, let's go ahead and put this in plan mode real quick. There we go. And 
It's just like an Airbus. Runway 4, Biggie's that, boom. And then Charlotte. Which actually looks very close, but in reality, it's not that close. Alright, looks pretty good there. And just for the heck of it, we'll actually enter our arrival runway. Which will be runway... Wait, are we at the part... Runway 05. ILS 05 via the Chelsea... Chelsea 5 arrival with the transition. Execute that just so I get the rest of our flight plan here, guys, and we'll change it as we need to go. Legs. There we go, guys. And we will jump through our flight plan here, and it seems like I screwed something up, but um, that's normal with me. Did I screw something up? It looks funky. What did I do? I've never seen anything like that. Um, <laughs> oh, great. Um, <laughs> all right, we'll work on it when we're in the air. That's what we will do. It looks like it, oh, we got a vector. That is what's going on. Uh, we will delete vector. Vector, can I just delete? Oh, we're in plan mode. I can't be in plan mode to delete, I don't think. No, it doesn't want to work. Executed that. Everything looks good until we reach vector. The vector. Um, but I don't seem to be able to delete that, so yeah. We'll just go with it. It's fine. I'll just uh, vector ourselves in, which we would do anyways, so it's fine. Alright guys, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get engine started here, and we will start our push and start out of here. Okay, uh, APU started, we'll get rid of ground power. External power is off, and we'll shut the cockpit door. There we go. Cockpit door is shut and locked, I think. I don't know where the lock is on this thing, but we'll say it's locked. Or it should be good. APU is good, and we'll jump up to the overhead panel. Uh, do we need to turn on bleeds? Does this thing have to have bleeds on, or is there a bleed? I can't remember. I, don't, I think they're on, automatically on bleed. I, and we will go for push. Let's uh, go double check. We are runway four for departure. Yep, runway four. All right, um, plugins, better pushback, start pushback. Hey, Captain, let me know where you want this thing. We will push it right here. Thank you. Great news, Captain. Your toe's coming. Sounds good. And we'll set, we'll keep that 10,000 for now here. And we'll set our B to 250 knots. Haven't done any autopilot testing yet, but um, I've been told it works great. Um, just, I was told not to use directs, because there's a little bug, so yeah, we'll just go ahead and not use direct for this, but yeah, it's fine, uh, we should be good. Uh, all doors are good, stab trimmed, APU door open, fuel pumps, we'll get those babies on, boost pumps are on. I don't know, good question, Glenn. Beautiful day in LaGuardia, though. And let me get my charts up. Roger, sounds good. We will uh, release the parking brake now. And beacon light is on. Here comes the push. Here comes the push back. Light up. Yes, sir. Let me get my charts on my phone here. I traffic in your taxi modern aviation to runway four for straight out departure via Farmer Guardia. Alright, and Engine start, start. 20 on the N2, 
throttle uncaged. There's 20. Maybe this bit AB is firing up. Heck yeah. Right. Yeah, the challenge, the uh, hot start challenger is definitely very nice and. What the heck? Okay. I have never seen that before. <laughs> what the heck just happened there, guys? Um, that's why we are always careful when we're pushing back. Because things like this happens. We're just going to go ahead and turn on the nose wheel steering, and this should just jettison him. Come on, buddy. Just just let go of me. Come on. I, I don't need to be pushed back anymore. You're failed at your job already. What are you attempting to do here? Gen 2, it says, is off, but... Can he just stop pushing us? Yeah, this pushback guy is very not smart. He's making. You're departing runway four straight out, Gloria. Is there a way to just have him like get off? Anti get off? Maybe that was maybe his issue. Is he gonna just recorrect himself or what's going on? It looks like nose wheel steering is off. That seems to have been the issue. We had nose wheel steering on. That don't know if that was what caused it, but yeah. Alright, we'll just set it. Yeah, it, it can be it can be a thing sometimes. It can be yeah, it can definitely be a thing sometimes. Yeah, it's uh, it doesn't like to work all the time. We gotta start our left engine. I'm just gonna have him drop us off here. We can make the turn to get out of here easier. Anyways, it's fine. So in departure, guys, I've been told we are not gonna want to stay in the climb detent the whole entire way up, uh, because it will not like to stay in that detent for that long. The it will be very hard to control on the way up. So we'll pull her back and control the speed as needed on the departure. Anti-skid is armed. Yeah, better push back the pain sometimes. Okay, sounds good. Thank you, buddy. And thank you for... Let me check. Ooh, yeah, it's definitely buffering. Hmm. I didn't have it buffering yesterday, uh, the other days. When I, uh, give me a minute. Uh, view. Stats. Reset stats. Uh, Glenn, you're the expert here. What should I do? <laughs> hmm. I, I don't know why we're getting a buffer now. Shoot. Um. Why is it buffering? I'm gonna message you, Glenn, okay? Give me a second. It's buffering quite a lot. Okay, we're gonna hope it sells itself out in a few minutes here, guys. And go from there. I pushed back his complete generator on. I messaged Glenn, so hopefully he can. Help us here. Get that buffering sorted out, guys. Sorry about that. I'm um, not sure why it's buffering. Um, stab trims. There we go. Stab trim set that up. APU generator off. APU. There we go. Yeah, I don't, the buffer, it's like fairly buffery. 
Don't know what is going on, guys. I am sorry about that. We'll go ahead and figure that out here when we can get it figured out. I uh, don't know what it's doing. Um. Okay, well, we got that started. Let me... What is Sarah timed out? Seems to be my internet right now. Alright, because uh, I'm getting uh, some with VAT sims also. Not liking it. Okay. We'll go here and see what we can do here. Let me get my pen. Hoping it will seem to study out, hopefully, in a few minutes. Alright, we're in taxi via Alpha. Bravo to 4. Alpha. Bravo to runway 4. Alright, there we go. Got this. And we are Endeavor 1888. Guardia Traffic, Endeavor 1888. Taxing to runway 4 via Alpha. Bravo to 4. LaGuardia. Um, I'm, I'm gonna keep an eye on that. Uh, we might need to fix it when we get out of here, uh, and we're in the air. Otherwise, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll get it fixed, guys. We will get it fixed. Uh, nose wheel steering is armed, and we seem to get, get to go there. Uh, flaps 20. Uh, where's that takeoff config? Is there one in here? I forget. Where we say takeoff config, okay. There we go. Takes a little power to get moving here. Um, I, I need to go ahead, go settings real quick. Guys, we're gonna fix this. Streaming, a uh, bit rate. I can't lower my Quality. Um, well, to lower my graphics, I would need to end the stream because it's an output. I can change. Like my graphics in the simulator. Shouldn't be downloading anything. But they're extremely low. Um, should I stop the stream and restart it, Glenn? Let me close out of some other tabs here, except for Simbrief. We need that one. See, even that sim is not having a joyful time. I think it's my internet because that sim is also having an issue. Hey, we'll get it, we'll get it fixed when we're in the air. This is Alpha, and we'll follow this all the way down, guys. We'll get this fixed out, figured out when we're in the air. I can lower my bit rate. Uh, let me go. Voice server error. Yeah, see, I keep on getting an error with my... Yeah, I think it's my internet right now. Hopefully it'll smooth out. I don't know why it's so funky right now. Yeah, bit my uh, kilobytes per second is dropping down to 62, which I've never seen it do before. All right, we will taxi when we're in the air. We'll get that dealt with here. I don't know why it would be so bad. Here, let me... Yes. 
Give me a second, guys. Um, we're gonna pull off to the side here, and I'm gonna mute the stream real quick. I'm gonna call up Glenn Bixley here and see if he can give me some help. So we're gonna pull off to the right of the left of the taxiway. Give me a minute, guys. We're gonna get this fixed here because this is it's annoying. Give me a minute, guys. I'll be right back. Now it's showing the green. Alright guys, we're back. Let's see, now it's in the green. guys and it did not drop the stream here and we are still good to go here and it's actually functioning right all right so we are ready for departure guys we are gonna go depart now out of here all right um we're gonna hold short of here we're gonna do a quick check here make sure everything's how we need it here we'll arm nav mode and vertical speed here all right we'll hold short right here guys all right, let's go ahead. We're gonna want to go ahead and select nav. Uh, nav mode, vertical speed, and we'll set our vertical speed a bit here. But we will not engage vertical speed until ready. Speed mode. Flight director, uh, vertical speed actually will keep it on. Vertical speed, and we'll set that to. Here we go. 
LaGuardia Traffic uh, Endeavor uh, 1888 is lining up runway for LaGuardia. Hi guys, uh, strobes are on, land lights are on, and we are good to go, guys. Have your seatbelts fastened here, and we are rolling out of here now. And reversers are armed. Hopefully you don't need them, but you know, sometimes things happen, so we're going to have them armed. Just in case. Finals is clear. Runway, can't see if the runway's clear yet, but that's because of the angle we're coming in on. All right, guys, seatbelts are secured and fastened here, and we're going to go ahead and give this baby a go. Runway 4 verified. Whew, here we go, guys. I'm a little nervous here. I did take off before, so I don't know why I'm so nervous, but, you know, new aircraft stuff. Yeah, a little, a little different here. And here we go. Take off, here we go. It's down just a bit. Here we go, on the roll. Airspeed's alive. A knots. B1 rotate. There we go. Pull that out of that. There. Positive rate right gear up. There we go, guys. We are out of here. And we'll make right traffic here. Beautiful departure. I'm going to go speed mode. I'll keep that at right there, and we'll make our turn. Guardia traffic, uh, Endeavor 1888 departed for uh, passing uh, 2.9, climbing 10,000, LaGuardia. Yep, guys, we are airborne. Flaps clean. We left the flaps out a little too long there, but it's fine. Carry traffic, Coastal 273, holding short, four left, uh, behind traffic, standing by for a call out. Okay. We are, we are continuing our climb here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go pilot engage. There we go. Uh, we'll bring the speed up to 250 knots here, guys. And go speed mode on. This will uh, climb the aircraft at what at the power setting required to make the climb out uh, using the proper angle of attack here. It makes it a little easier on our end here. It keeps the aircraft um, at... at the proper vertical speed to make the climb out where we won't overspeed it. It'll stay right where we need it. But we want to be at 250, so we will go ahead and bring this up to 250. Here, there we go. New York's down there, guys. Now everything's working good, guys. Uh, thank you, Glenn, for helping me out there. I know it can be a bit tough sometimes dealing with um, these things here. Uh, and thank you for being able to give me a little bit of your time there to help me out there. Big help. Don't know if we got gotten that fixed there without you there. So yeah, guys, uh, give give Glenn a big thank you, guys, um, and go check out his channel as well here. He's amazing, and yeah, thank you, Glenn, for all your help. And now we are airborne and on our way to LaGuardia, not LaGuardia, to, you know, the airport that we're supposed to go to, whatever that one is called. 250 knots there, and we are going to be intercepting course here. Beautiful day here out of LaGuardia, guys. Beautiful. And if we do get ATC, we're gonna try. I'm gonna tell them that we cannot really do directs because um, they act all funky. So we'll just tell them that uh, so that we're not really getting directs all the way there. Right, and we are passing. We're almost up to there. We'll climb cruising altitude of 380 now. We'll go ahead to altitude.
3-0 set. Passing 10,000 here on the way out. Uh, 10,000 feet, landing lights are off. Any traffic, call start 273, airborne 1,000. Uh, speed, bring that speed up now. Uh, yes, give me a minute here. Uh, flight controls. There it is. Pitch is, uh, it's down. Uh, this aircraft, it felt like I needed a lot of pressure to get her off the ground, but, um... Yeah, that, that might just been something that had to be done there. Thank you guys for uh, 230 subscribers. That's a lot. That's amazing for me to get there. Uh, thank you to everybody that uh, helped that happen today. Oh yeah, we're climbing real quick here. We'll bring that up to like... Uh, we'll, we'll bring that up to around there. -ish. Didn't mean to hit heading. Alright, um, now we just need to figure out what's going on with that, like, the approach there, that thing. It was all funky. I've never even seen that in the Challenger. It's that weird, but, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. When you hit your trim switch, it uh, disconnects the autopilot. It does that in the Challenger. And, um, do you know what I did wrong here? Because this does not look right. Towards that end. It goes all funky and stuff here. I can't get rid of the vector either, but we'll need to work around that. We'll figure it out. See, down towards this vector point. I can't delete anything either. It's just like permanent. So we'll, I think we just need to vector ourselves in them from there. We're doing the ILS guys, so yeah. We get the prox page. Top percent is in 53 minutes, guys, so yeah. We'll pop her in the climb detent. For now, put her back there in the climb. Detent. There we are. Now she'll climb a bit quicker. Go. Uh, looking pretty good here. Uh, would you guys like some music here in the background? I can do that too if you guys uh, would like. Let me grab some music here in the background. Let me look at our. Eleven likes, guys. Thank you. Thank you a lot, guys. Um, that's a uh, very awesome here that we have such amazing community in the aviation world here. Let me grab some music here and a bit here. Let me say we'll get some music running here guys. Something we can watch. Ooh, I turned off. I didn't have our transponder on. Oh, it seems like it is on. Here we 
we go, guys. Uh, let's get some music here. Yesterday was ridiculous. We were flying to the Outer Banks with the Challenger. Which, uh, to be honest with you, the Challenger is a little, a little tight into that airport. It can land there, it's just tight. Um, and we did, I think, two go-rounds or three go-rounds. We had wind shear alerts going off. We were on final. And the winds were just going all over the place. We had caution wind shear, wind shear alerts. And then um, James, the person I was flying with, was like, I'm going to dip it and slip it. He's like, I had to go. And then we landed. He's like, you know, they say get the right. It doesn't work. But it seemed to work fine just now. Let's get some music going in the background, guys. Something nice to listen to. Building your Let me see how this sounds. You may make. You guys think that's pretty good, or uh, what, what do you think? You guys need it? Yeah, Glenn has been a part of the channel for quite a while now. It's uh, going on to uh, a while here. The integrated lights. Where's the integrated lights again? The one in the back of the cabin? Let me quiet this just a bit. Integrated lights, the one in... Oh, and uh, now that you're here... Oh, right here? Oh, yes. We want that on. Do we have a Palsu one? Is it in the back, like, in the Challenger? How do I do the pedestal one? I'm used to everything in the Challenger. Overhead, here we go. Now, there's gotta be a center pedestal light. There we go, guys. Now we have some lights on. There we go. And, um, now that you're over here, let me show you this thing we're having. I don't know how to fix it. Yeah, we have this going on. Don't know what to do here. It makes no sense. I don't know if I screwed something up. But, uh, yeah. Oh, our CDU is blank. I don't know how to fix it. We have a vector, but I can't delete the vector for some weird reason. I'm a little stumped, I would say. Because then we have our vector, then from vector, it looks like it goes... So we would disconnect, then go vec to our vector point here, not our vector, we would go there. And then to final, I'm assuming that's going straight to final there. It's a little different than the Challengers. The Challengers are a bit newer. The Challengers have newer displays and stuff. Made by the same company, though, Bombardier. Um, actually, well, actually, if I'm not mistaken, isn't CRJ's now owned by Mitchell Bichis or something? 
We're gonna go vertical speed here and just climb up to our cruise altitude. I'm pretty sure they're owned by Mitchell Bishis now. I, yeah, that's what I thought, but uh, when I go ahead and click it, uh, let me get my thing here. How do I delete it? Because when I hit, oh, I just hit delete. That there, execute. I was hitting the wrong button. That would make more sense. That makes a lot more sense here, guys. That makes that makes a lot more sense. Awesome, thank you. That helps a whole lot more. So um yeah um we the weather is not looking promising into Charlotte today, guys. Um not at all. Um. Yeah, so, um, that might be interesting. We're definitely gonna need to shoot the ILS. I've never shot an ILS in the Challenger, in the CRJ, because I always fly them into beautiful locations. I always do visual approaches, but we're definitely gonna need to fly an ILS today because with this weather, it is not gonna be possible to do a visual. Um, we're looking at... I'll need to grab the weather in a few minutes, but yeah, we're definitely gonna need to be doing a um, ILS. Yeah, a lot better there. Um, it looks a whole lot nicer now. Yeah, we are right in the red of some weather. So it's going to be bumpy on the way in, guys. So we're going to make sure you guys have your seats securely fastened on the way in here. Because unexpected turbulence may occur. Uh, how do I get this back to normal? Here we go, stats. Daily traffic delta to eleven with the other two thousand five hundred for five thousand. Setting track ditch. Alright, and let's talk about some settings here, guys, in this aircraft. This aircraft is equipped with some of the coolest settings in here. Um, for when you can do a lot about windshields. Uh, cockpit, exterior, glass tinted. Look at that. That's pretty nice. I like the, I like the traditional ones, but you have it. And then you can do the interior tint, which makes it a bit darker it makes it easier on the pilot's eyes um yeah it's very nice um then you also have i normally just keep them all off there like that um medium reflections uh high reflections i have the reflections off i'm not a big reflection person on these uh but yeah i love that and you can save it uh sounds miscellaneous these are your user views there There, yeah, pretty pretty neat here. Um, we're gonna put back to the captain's seat though. Um, another cool feature. Uh, let's talk about some other cool features. Um, is this? This is an aircraft that I feel like would be great as multi crew. Like the hot start. Imagine that you have a seat here, and we got more than just this seat here, guys. No, no. We we have a we have a few more. Door. Flight attendant seats. And we want a seat? We got them. Well 
Oh shoot, what the heck was that? Oh, our airspeed low. Let's go ahead. Airspeed's low. Yeah, we'll regain our airspeed here, guys, real quick. Shoot, that got real low. I forget this thing doesn't have an auto throw, so you need to be much more careful here. How do I switch to mock? I don't push it like you do on no, yeah, you don't push it like you do on a challenger. Yep, uh, it seems like we're good now. Um, no, I'm trying to figure out how to turn that one on. How do you turn on your Mac? Because, like, in the Challenger, you just press it. Whoa, turbulence. Turn button now help lighten up the controls there. That's a, quite a lot of turbulence there. We'll pull the power back. Very bumpy here. I wish this thing had ATS. If it had ATS, that would be awesome. But no CRJs have ATS. Only the only auto throttle a CRJ has is the first officer. Um, that is a, um, that is called XP Realistic. It's a, um, thing I use here. It gives the, uh, sounds and stuff here. It's very nice. Um, can do different things here. It's, uh, I'm gonna turn up natural head movement, so I'm not a fan of that. There we go. Yeah, uh, XP Realistic is, um, what I use to make the, um, Make it more realistic, basically. Well, that's hence the name XP Realistic. I, I think we're good, guys. I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. Eh, I don't want to get back here in the planes, Dad. I'm gonna be quick though. Wow, this is definitely making it a bit. Wow. Yep, XP Realistic is what I use. Um, one of my favorite plugins for this. Get that SECO sign off for the passengers. We'll keep the no smoking on. Right, I'll be right back, guys. I'll be like a minute.
Hey guys, I am back. Nice, yeah, I used to use um, Head Shake, but I uh, switched to XP Realistic. Because I sent a key to it, and um, I, I prefer it better. Um, I think I still have Head Shake in here. Yep. It's still here. Oh. If I still have it, I just use a... Uh... Yeah, I'm back here. Um, yeah, I, I still have it. Um, and it's still enabled. But, uh, actually, I, I don't know why I still have it enabled, because I have... There we go, that's better. Yeah, I'm back here. Um, but yeah, um, XP realistic. It just gives you more features too. Give me a minute. I have a phone call, guys. guys I'm um, back so yeah right now uh, we are just in we're trying to keep this airplane balanced here with power I want it to stay at what speed I want it but this I'm just trying to get used to flying this thing without an auto thrust ATS is nice because uh, like the, the Challenger has ATS so it kind of you know manages its own speed which is nice. This thing doesn't have ATS because it's older. Top descent is in 29 minutes here, guys. We will figure out what altitude we need to descend to and what vertical speed we will need to do here. I need to remember how to do a descent here correctly. Because it doesn't have VNAV. So I normally just go down using vertical speed down to our actual altitude which we need to shoot for the ILS, so we'll just do that. I'll go vertical speed all the way down. So I don't think speed mode is going to act as vertical speed. As our V nav. Um, so we are going into K, C L T, which is Charlotte Douglas. And we are going to be, let me get into the weather. So I can expect what runway we'll be landing. Okay, we'll figure out what runway. Charlotte. Arrival information. Approach in use. Altimeter approach is in use. Runway 36 right. Let me see what runway we selected. We selected 05. Approach is in use. Altimeter approach is. Alright, let's approach 36 right. 36 left. We'll take 36 right. Oil pressure in yellow. Is the developer still in the chat? The developers, or I don't know if they're still here. Um, I don't know. That's actually weird. That's in yellow. It's in yellow, so it's fine. It's not in red. It's in orangish. Orangish. Yellowish. Oh no, that's weird. Alright, um, we'll figure that out after we figure out our approach here, because that's a, that's a little funky. I don't know why that would be like that, but, okay. Teletase approaches are in use from a 3-6 right approach, and we are not in standard pressures. There we go, now we're... Message the developer real quick. That quick question. Multiple tra traffic. The set bus four sixty six and surrender one five right via Echo Papa, Baltimore.
Alright, so we'll expect that was 3 6 right. Alright, that's good. We will go ahead and see what we got for our VNAV. Not VNAV, for our approach here. I messaged the developer seeing if we can do a VNAV if it has the capability. I don't think it does, but hey, can't figure that out unless we ask. And we are arriving runway 36 right. I have less 36 right. Approach looks good. And let me. Six right there we go that looks pretty good I'd say so and I messaged a developer here hopefully we'll get a response here soon about um, the oil pressure and that um, that is a little concerning not too bad it's in the yellow so I'm not I'm not worried worried but you know don't want it to become a issue All right, so let's see what we're gonna send via. So let me get my knee board. Back here. All right, guys. So. have a look here. So we are going to be descending via the Chelsea, let me find it, arrivals, it's the Chelsea 5 RNAV, and we're going to be descending down to the BOR, which would be, and there, okay, so we're going to descend Rosie 5, and we're going to be landing runway 36 right here. We're going to go ahead and shut the music. I'm going to stop the music, guys, for a little bit here. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. And uh, is there a way to do a VNAV descent? Can I, like, have it descend automatically? I got a little used to the VNAV option in the um, challengers. Is there a way for me to just do a VNAV on the way down, or is that not really an option? Hey, Chief Sim Pilot, what's up? Welcome, um, we have the developer of this aircraft in the chat. I think you, did you fly the uh, 900 or the 700 of this aircraft, Chief Sim Pilot? And congratulations on 1,000 subscribers, uh, Chief Sim Pilot. Congratulations. Um, wow. So yeah, uh, we're right now flying the uh, CRJ-1000 over to Charlotte. Let me see here. Alright, so we are descending via the Chelsea 5 arrival into Charlotte. Charlotte's landing runways 36 right and 36 left. Uh, we're going to be shooting the ILS. Yeah, congratulations, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, um, this is their 1,000 developers in the chat here. Um, he's been answering some questions for people here. Beautiful, I love it. Uh, yes, we're going to be starting descent here in around 21 nautical miles here. Uh, 21 minutes, excuse me. Top descent is in 162 miles here, but we're in brief our descent now. So localizer frequency, we'll get this baby typed in here. Uh, course knob, we'll do that here in a little bit. Now I need to remember, how do I switch this to the ILS? I think it's just our nav source. Uh, I'm gonna remember how to do this, but we'll figure out. So um, nav is going to be 
Let's see here. Landing uh, frequency for the ILS is 108.9. 1089, that is set there. And now that means if I go to course, source 2. Uh, did I do that right, or would it be... I hope I did this right, guys. Okay, um... Hopefully that doesn't happen, because we need ILS today. To land here, because uh, visit the weather is not great. So we need to figure it out. Um, how do you turn the ILS, though? Because we will need it for this today. Because, yeah, we'll, we'll figure out. And also the developer hopefully will be in the chat on the descent, so maybe hopefully he can kind of guide us down of what um, we need to do here with the ILS here. I, um, I, I assume we just have to hit the approach mode, right? And we activate... That, but we'll keep it in nav for now, obviously. Yeah, um, we'll, we'll see what, if you did something wrong. I don't know. I've tried, uh, ILS once in this, in the 700 when it first came out. It didn't work, but that might have just been, it was new, so we'll see. Endeavor, there we are. Oh yeah, we're entering snow. Oh uh, yeah, it's supposed to snow at some point here. Let me see. Yep, 80% chance of snow today, where I am. So we're flying into it right now. Charlotte has just mainly weather. We have a big red spot of this, like a big giant patch of just weather. So let's uh, continue with briefing that approach here. Okay. So, uh, ILS frequency is 108.9. We're descending by the Chelsea 5 arrival for ILS runway 36 right. Um, touchdown uh, zone elevation is 727. And um, airport elevation is 748. Approach course is going to be a zero, zero, 003. Uh, we'll, we'll be fine. We're above that stuff right now, so it shouldn't be too bad here. Let me get that stuff on anyways, though, just in case. Hopefully it'll work. Uh, Cal anti-icing on. Wing anti-icing on. We'll put this stuff on high. I say that looks good. Okay, we'll, we'll hope it works. I didn't know it was going to be stormy by the time we were going to come in. Okay. Uh, approach course is 003 here. We're going to descend down to 2,500 for the ILS. Our minimums are 927. Ah, nice. Okay, good. We didn't share the section stuff. Um, uh, Mr. Greek, um, we were flying, me and my friends, we were flying the Challenger 650 yesterday into the Outer Banks, because we all watched the show and we were on to do it. Um, that, that was a nightmare. Uh, the runway is extremely short. We're flying a Challenger 650 into there. We're on approach, the winds start whipping all around, and then we get further down and we got a wind shear, wind shear. And then we just did a go around. It took us three attempts to land. The third attempt, uh, he said, I'm gonna slip it. He said, I'm gonna, um, what did he say? I'm gonna slip it in something else, in it was sketchy. Awesome. This 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 has a lot of potential. This aircraft, hundred percent. 
I could see this becoming a very big product for the X-Men community. Let's see how it looks on top of the And can I do a VNAP somehow or what? I wish I could do like a VNAP descent, but I think I have to do it vertical speed. So they do say we need radar required for this approach. I don't think we have radar though, so that won't be an option. I, um, the one developer uh, said that there is no VNAV option for us, guys. We are going full, fully by vertical speed. Ah, <laughs> uh, great. I, I can see a million ways I can screw this one up. Hey, and I would just say thank you to you all uh, from Delta Wing for trusting me to fly your all CRJ. You guys might be making a big mistake on this landing. I've done a few, we were fine, but this might be a big mistake with this weather. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll do our best here, but I can't guarantee that this is not going to be a bumpy landing. This might be bumpy. I'm sorry if it's bumpy. Uh, we will hopefully land it correctly. It might just be bumpy. And how many of you all work at Delta Wing? Like, is it a big or is it like only like a few people? Oh yeah, they are. Uh, let me go back to six here. Look at that. This is literally the most people I ever have in like a live stream. Like, I'm wondering if it's because I'm streaming this airplane, everybody's like, oh, I want to see. I've never seen anybody stream this yet, really. Am I like the first one to stream this aircraft? Because I tried finding videos on it, and I haven't seen anybody stream it yet. I'm going to see. J1000. Oh yeah, somebody did a, uh, yeah. Uh, CRJ-1000 explain. Yeah. I gotta say, this aircraft is probably RNAV for the autopilot. Uh, yes. The, uh, VNAV for the autopilot. Is there a way to do that? I'd love to have a VNAV on this descent. Alright, how do I do the VNAV? Oh, 
Oh, VNAV. Here we go. So, what do I do for it? Like, how do I turn it on? Like, is there a way to do a... Oh, cool. I see it's Descend Now button. Do I press that when I'm ready to descend? Mind blown that you guys can make this with only on three people. Rocks page, let's see. Descent is in 13 minutes, guys. So, to make sure that we start descending when we need to, we're gonna set a timer. Chrono. And we'll get ready to descend in uh, about 12 minutes here. So what would I hit? Would I just hit the, um, when I'm ready for my descent, would I go to the VNAV and then go next, next, and then descend now, and that will tell me why I need to descend that? Oh, that would be awesome. So isn't that button, doesn't that button go, like, right here under the VS? I heard it's in, like, newer aircraft, but I'm pretty sure. Give me a mega phone call.
Young Aviation. Sorry about that. I was on the phone. Uh, what's up? Um, today we're flying the ch uh, challenge challengers. <laughs> CRJ um, 1000 here. We actually have the developers with us in the chat and everything. So they are explaining stuff here. So we'll be staying here shortly, guys. Um, seven minutes here. I'm going to run to the bathroom, guys, and I'll be right back, and we'll get ready for our descent. ATC online, um, Young Aviation, if you find X Plane 12 and want a really good CRJ, it is linked below. And uh, yeah, when I start working this summer, I might be able to, we might be able to do a giveaway on this thing and I can buy it for one of y'all at some point maybe. I start making some money. Alright, let's see, top percent, four, mi four minutes. So we'll go ahead and get our altitude set here. Uh, I think it's 2,700 on the side. 2,500 is what we're going down to. You're the programmer, yeah. You're still a developer, though. Two thousand five hundred. Ooh, whoopsies. There we go. 2,500. How do I set my mins? Let's see here. I need to get minimums. Ah, oh, shoot. I don't remember how to set minimums. Here we go. Minimums. Uh, minimums are 927. on that too quickly. Nine twenty seven is set. That's our minimums. The scent is in four miles, guys. So, um, if you'd like to, um, uh, Mr. Greek, um, so what made you guys want to develop a CRJ? Because the CRJ, it's a bit of a, you, it's not something you would think would, you would see much in the simulator, but, like, many people are out there designing, like, full-on, like, the A320s and those things. What made you guys want to do the CRJs? Is it because we didn't really have a good model at the time? Cause this definitely has beaten the uh is it the J roll or what uh what is it called? The uh CRJ two hundred one. I can't remember that developer's name. Uh I watch I was, I watched their um video for the CRJ two hundred, uh that old one, and it is the most cringy thing ever. Um yeah, it is it's pretty funny. Next, next, next. 
now. We got that baby ready to go. Yeah, it's very cringy. Race. You know, the cockpit voice recorder, you hit that race after every flight there, or when you say something about your boss that you don't want them to hear, you just hit that button and the boss would never know that you said anything about them. <laughs> That's what you do. We're going to bring our speed back here a bit, and we'll start bringing that power back. Just a little bit here. We'll get the seatbelt sign on. See sign is no smoking is on. There we go, and we will descend now. Alright, so I hit the descend now button. Don't know why I hit next after that, but we will figure that out. Alright, V-Path, it says, I think I have to do what that says, so it's a 2.5 on the glide slope. So two, uh, is it two, yeah, 2.5 degrees down on the uh, vertical speed. Uh, yes, what made you guys want to make the CRJ? Yeah, that was the question. Actually, let's do 250 knots here. Or we'll keep that around 220 knots here. Zero minutes remaining till top percent, guys. And we'll start a descent here. Vertical speed down at 2.5. 2.5 on the vertical speed. We'll bring that power back here. I'm pretty sure we descend this almost in idle, right? Nice, nice. Down yeah, Xbox. Not bad. So 2.5 is what we should be descending by. Got it. That looks pretty good there. Jump in the rear here. See that the speed breaks up a bit on the wings. There we go, guys. We're on our descent down into Charlotte here. You know, this stream runs a whole lot better when you aren't downloading something in the background, like I was. I, I, I didn't even realize Steam could download stuff when you weren't even doing it. Okay, so we need to figure out how to do an ILS in this baby. This is going to be a bit hard, but we're going to get it. Um, that's oxygen on. Cabin altitude? What's going on? Huh. Whoa, 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 give me a minute, guys.
Yeah, um... I probably should have that on. Um, but we have a slight bigger problem, and that is cabin altitude's at zero. So that, I think, is our bigger problem right now, is that cabin altitude is zero. I don't know why. It's kind of terrifying because there's no oxygen in the cabin, and the cabin has lost all of its pressure. Everything's how it should be. No packs are fine. I can turn off on oh, that. Testing at zero. Yeah, packs are fine. I'm using the oxygen mask right now. We're descending here. Oh, it right, sounds good. Cause that's very strange. Let me check my failures. I don't think it's a failure though, because I don't use failures. Nope, so it's a zero. But we're descending, we have oxygen masks on, so we're, we're fine, it's just... This is not normal behavior from it. I, didn't, I don't think I did, I, I'm used to flying the challengers and I know how that thing works and it's basically the same pressurization system. I don't know if I did something wrong. I don't think I touched anything though. That's strange. Okay. Well on our course down we need to set our course. So I need to go course. Course is zero zero three I think. Alright and I need to figure out how to activate I right, got it. We'll just stay auction mask on for now. Thank you for your help. Uh, you guys are like some of the most helpful developers I've ever messaged. Alright, uh, let me get our approach plate here so we can get down here. I need a, our approach course is 003. Because um, I'm on, I'm using oxygen right now. Uh, I had to put on the oxygen mask because I started blacking out. Zero zero three is the course that is set. How do I activate the ILS? Is it just by hitting the approach mode? It will activate it. Like, well, no, there's actually no pressure. If I take off the oxygen mask, I start to black out. All right, we're gonna cut the music now because now we're in a situation where we need to focus here. Weather is not great, so yeah. We need to focus here. Yeah, I don't know, it's weird. It says passenger oxygen on, zero pressure for the cabin. Should be okay. Let me remove the oxygen mask. Switch your mask off. No, I'm starting to black out slowly. I'm gonna put back on the oxygen. Okay. So ILS should just be. All right. So I haven't. Is this the mode I will need for the ILS? Cause I tune the nav, nav one. How do I switch it to?
Yeah, I don't know how to do the ILS here, so this is going to be a learning experience for me here. And uh, the one developer that I've been in contact with, the one that uh, sent the key off, um, he said that um, there is a issue with the direct button. Like, he said, do not fly direct to anywhere. Because if I hit direct, it'll go direct, but then it will no longer follow the nav. Okay, got it. I have nav 1, have that all selected, and we are on nav 1, 2, it is 108.90, and I have the course set, 003 is our landing course. We should start being able to breathe properly at 10,000, well, at around 12,000, but 12,000 feet, well, above I think it's above 10,000 feet, passenger, uh, or some one person has to be on auction for a certain period of time before something I can't remember. But we, we'll be good. Those passengers got probably a fright when they just saw the oxygen mass fall from the ceiling. We're doing 150 knots right now, which is good. Um... knots, not bad. Okay, that did scare me there, just seeing the pressure just randomly drop out of nowhere, but we're good. And we'll grab the altimeter here. Uh, altimeter is, let's make sure they're landing the same runways. Uh, one eight left is now in use, guys. So we're gonna need to change that up to one eight left. Rivals. Alice one eight left. Execute that. Legs. Delete vectors. There we go, and let me get the new frequency for that runway. One eight left frequency is gonna be one one zero three five. Three five set course. Course is gonna be one eight three. One eight three is selected. That is good. And we are now going to be descending down to. Uh, we're descending to two thousand four hundred. Uh, so we'll just go down another hundred feet. 2,400, that is selected. Wow, bumpy. I we're bringing pop the speed brakes out. We're 8,000 feet here. Uh, we will go ahead and turn on our landing lights. There we go. Uh, let's get our altimeter selected here. Altimeter is 2995. That's our decision altitude. All right, we'll need to reset that. Right here, there we go. Okay, we're into the clouds. Let's get our new minimums here, which are 1,002 is our new mins. One oh two. There we go. That is selected. Of 
4,000 feet. Wow. This weather is ridiculous. Let's get our landing speeds. Low landing. Landing speed is 190 something. <clears throat> and we're just gonna make 2,400. Oh, nav disconnected. Okay, that was weird. There we go. We're leveling off 2,400. It's a bit low, but uh, it makes it a bit easier here. And we'll activate approach mode here in a little bit. Uh, is there something I have to do to activate approach? know how to activate approach mode. I'm assuming I just hit the approach, but it's not lighting up right now, so APPR is not, yeah, not lighting up. Yes, this is live weather right now. There we go, now we got approach mode, good. Yep, live weather, young aviation. Low landing speeds. Four hundred. Yeah, all right, so I need to activate nav source two. That'll give me my approach mode. Versus arm. use windshield wipers probably here yeah it's quite quite bad weather out today we are prepared for it I'm actually gonna keep these reversers and we'll keep them armed for now because I know me I'll forget to disarm them I'll forget to arm them and then we'll have a slight issue occurring Wow, this weather is not great by any means, guys. I don't know why it's not showing my... Uh, landing ref, uh, landing speed is one, 146, wow. So we'll bring that down to 146. Keep 
keep his feet up though, for now. Yeah, this is, conditions are a little rough, guys. Sorry about the bad weather. I know it's not great today for approaches into Charlotte, but it's what we got to work with. There we go. We're making all of our turns here. We're very low right now just because, uh, well, I'm new to this aircraft. I didn't know we were in descent this quickly, but it's close enough. Activate approach mode. No, I will need to be on. All right. We're doing fine, guys. Don't know where Charlotte is on here. It's hard to tell. I know we're close, though. Mm -hmm. I don't know where our DME is, so yeah, this is a, it's a little hard sometimes, guys. Charlotte, 30 to the west. Charlotte traffic, uh, Endeavor, uh, 1888 is 30, mi 30 nautical miles to the west of Charlotte at 2,400. Setting up for the ILS runway, um, 8, uh, 1, 8 left, Charlotte. Okay, we're gonna bring that speed back a bit now. We are... One of the big planes flying into here today, guys. Hey, right, anti skid arm flaps will bring our flaps out here in a few minutes. Here, let me grab my charts. I'll have a learn. look at that. There we are. I can see our aircraft on the charts. go. Nice. Nice. Okay, guys. Woo! I'm a little nervous. It's a bit busy, too, in Charlotte, so if we screw up, people are going to see it, definitely. Oh yeah, everybody, fasten your seatbelts here. This might get a little rough. It's a bit bumpy here. I was hoping for buttery smooth landing, but I don't think we can do that today. All right, we're gonna start bringing the speed back a bit more here. We need to get flaps one out. Uh, flaps, is it flaps 20, I think? Or what is it called here? Flaps one or eight? Yeah, one, we need to get flaps one. I'm gonna try go flaps one here. So we'll just use key bindings. That's one. There we go. Maintain that, and we'll go flaps eight. Start bringing out the flaps there a bit. We're gonna try and maintain this here. We'll put those B brakes away. The airplane likes to fly fast. Right, and we are going to go heading mode, heading. And we're gonna go ahead and come and bring it over just a bit here. I need to get on the localizer. There we go. I'm using my charts here to navigate myself a bit. Helms with navigation. I don't see where our ILS is there, but we will go with it. Approach mode is activated. So it should 
when we go approach, it should uh, go ahead and capture. I don't see the ILS though showing here. Heading mode here, we're gonna try and vector this baby on in. Supposed to be at five, supposed to be at 5,000 in the first there, but yeah, we're up right here. Yeah, I don't know how to get this ILS to show here, because I don't see the bars there. The diamonds. Start making the final here. Just need to go ahead. I need to make sure we make that final turn. Saw a traffic Endeavor 1888 turning final, uh, 1 8 left Charlotte. Alright, so, um, we're gonna need to activate approach. And we're on a heading right now for this. We'll go under our notch flaps. Uh, actually, we'll keep them at 20 for now. A bit nervous with trying to fly this baby. It's a bit of a harder airplane to fly, guys, so... But we don't want to stall. Do we have the stick pusher on? Yes, we do. Good. That's something I want to make sure we have engaged here. Is the stick pusher. Alright, and we'll go final now. It's not seeming to capture the localizer, but we'll see what's going on here. No, no, why it doesn't want to seem to get the localizer. Okay, I don't know why... I'm not seeing the localizer. Approach mode's active. Frequency is 1103... Oh, 11035. There it is. Now we got it. Yep, we got it. We're good now. We have it. Localizer's capturing. I uh, can't see any terrain, so hopefully there is none ahead of us. I think we're fine, though. Speed. Need to get that speed up. I can fly this all the way down to its uh, minimum landing, I think, which is going to be... Uh, yeah, it seems to have it. it. I see it has the bars and everything. We're on approach mode. Oh, okay, this is a little... Whew. This thing's a bit of a hard thing to fly here. I'm mainly going to be worrying about the speed here, guys, on this approach. So I'm going to... Be focusing on getting this thing down safely. We're on the high side right now, but it's fine. We'll just maintain that until we're established. We're going to uh, should, trying to debate on going clap full yet. Or should we just keep that 30 a little longer here? There we go. We're popping out. Is it set? Now I have one frequency. Is it set now? There it is. It's coming alive. There we go. 
we will go ahead and we'll drop the gear here when we're we'll drop it now. Gear coming down. Gear coming down. That's full. Show traffic uh, Endeavor eighteen eighty eight uh, final one eight left. Charlotte. There we go. We are established. Runway in sight. Looking good. Flaps are full. We'll bring that speed back to its landing speed. I can fly this down uh, to 80 feet. Am I correct, Mr. Uh, Greek? 80 feet. That's what I was told by that. Well, that's why I can fly it down to on the Challenger 650. I'm assuming it's roughly the same. 80 feet. Wow, lightning. Spoilers are armed. Uh, yes, spoilers. Auto. Um, reversers armed. We are good to go. Speed brakes are in the up position. Gear down. Three green. Flap full. Uh, we are cleared land. Traffic has been advised that we are landing. So, yep, they better get out of our way. Here we go. Runway's in sight, guys. We're going to do this here. Let's have that passenger auction sign on. Move our auction mask here. Or we'll just leave it on just in case. We need some extra oxygen. Hi guys. We'll be disconnecting here in a second. We're just gonna lag out. We're flag down to our minimum, uh, not our minimums, our 80-ish um, feet. For our, before we disconnect. 400 feet. Charlotte traffic, uh, Endeavor 1888. Short final, 18 left. Full stop, Charlotte. Disconnect. Brakes, reversers, green, desal. On the toe brakes a bit, keep that center line. Yeah, we, we were coming a little fast there. I didn't put much flare into it because I was scared of over flaring it and we going back into the air. Reverse disarmed. Reverse disconnected. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we come from the flight deck. Welcome to Charlotte, where the local time is 11.27. Please remain seated until the aircraft arrives at the gate and the fastest seatbelt signs are turned off. Thank you for choosing Endeavor. For, uh, thank you for choosing Delta. And, uh... Okay, yeah, 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 makes sense. And we'll vacate right up here. Speed brakes are in the upright position. That's coming up. We'll turn on the APU. And yeah, there's no 10th stage or 14th stage isolation stuff, so we don't need to worry about that. That wasn't bad. I think I need to flare it more, but I'll we'll watch the replay there and see how it went there. And thank you to you all at Delta Wing uh, for giving me a key. Um, you guys have been like my fa You guys are like the few developers that have actually agreed to give me stuff, like an aircraft. I've had many developers just turn me away, and I'm happy that you guys let me prove myself with giving me these things. I cannot thank you guys enough. I am very happy to have gotten to, uh, uh, got, got a key from you guys and let me fly this. I am very happy that I could do that. Alright, I'll probably disconnect. Uh, we'll, we'll turn that baby off. Yeah, it, that weather was not great, but, um, yeah. We made it, so I guess that's all that matters here. Solar traffic, Endeavor 1888, clear of 18 left, tax into parking, uh, Charlotte. All right, we will go, landing lights are off. Tax light on, strobe lights off. 
Yeah, I like your new name. I think I, f I feel like it's better than um, AD Simulations. I think it, I like it more. Delta Wing, it sounds better. Now we need to get Glenn Bixley into flight simming. I don't think it was bad with those weather conditions. We were fighting a lot of the weather there. I don't think it was bad for like dealing with all that weather. Um, I need to go. Oxygen mask off. Yeah, I think trying to fight with that weather too made it very difficult. But yeah, we used a lot of runway there. I was scared. I didn't. I didn't apply as much braking as I normally would because of how wet it was. I didn't want to hydroplane the aircraft off the runway, so I was more gentle on how much braking we gave it. Got that. You stay up late, Glenn. Look at that aircraft there. That is a nice... Yeah. That that was a nice landing. Oh, we're gonna go park next to that other... Uh, let's go park next to that plane. You know, it's another regional jet. We gotta give regional jets their uh, love they need. Regional jets are overlooked so much. We'll go park up next to that other one. Right next to it. We'll give him a little love, too. We'll love tap our jets together. Just kidding. Uh, we're across 2-3. Charlotte Traffic, uh, Endeavor 1888, crossing runway 2-3. Uh, Charlotte. That's clear. That's clear. That's good. Yeah, amazing job to the developers here. Um, fantastic... And we'll jump, jump into that replay here as soon as we can here. Is that a, uh, what is that? Is that a CRJ or a Embraer? That is a CRJ 700, X-Plane, X-Plane, uh, X-Plane 11. CRJ 700, X-Plane 11. I'm assuming he is flying one of your aircrafts then, right? Yep, it's a CRJ 700, it's X-Plane 11, it says, on the, uh, on my software. So I'm assuming that is going to be your all's aircraft. I don't, unless they're using that free, we're yucky looking one. There you go. One of your all's aircraft. Right there. Delta Wings aircraft sitting right next to me here today. We park it right up next to it. All right, we will go ahead. Tax light is off. We'll jump into our Marshall view. Here we go, Marshall, this baby on in. I'm parking right next to another Delta Wing airplane. Parking brake. Set APU. That's APU's on. Gen 1's and 2 are in the off position. Engines. Oh, why did I lose half my? There we go. Now they're back. Engine two. Engine one is off. Man, buddy, your wheels in the ground. Hi right, guys, and we'll jump in replay here in a second. We'll get ground power out. Thank you, Glenn, and thank you for your help. Well appreciated. 
off, 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 off. Low. Actually, we'll put them all to off. Hydraulics off. And 3A's off. All these things from auto to off. Beacon can come off. And now that we're on ground power. DC uh, utility switch is off. Yeah, guys. Welcome to Charlotte. Glad that you all could uh, make it for the stream. And thank you to the developers. And we're going to jump in replay mode here after we open up our doors. Actually, we'll do that after because replay mode can be weird. So we'll jump in replay. Not bad, guys. Not bad at all. With those weather conditions, yeah, it could have been a better land, but yeah, with the, how the weather was, didn't want to risk anything. So not bad for how the weather was treating us there. Not bad, guys. Not bad at all. Yeah, if you guys are interested in purchasing this aircraft for your X-Plane 12 or any of their CRJ family, use the link in the description there. If you use the link there, it will redirect you straight to the X-Plane work store. And, uh, yeah, you can get the aircraft from there. The price is, I'm going to say the price is very fair for the aircraft, too. Personally, I feel like it might be a little low for the aircraft, but, you know. Yeah, I didn't really flare it much. Yeah, I didn't flare it much. I was worried about over-flaring it. Wow, we should have very... That was not bad at all. I, I, I'm pretty impressed with that. Go ahead and do a uh, airplane spot review. Back this up here. Very nice landing. We'll do a plane spot review. I call it the plane spot review because, well, it's just cool. Right there and fly. What? Oh, froze for a second. We're a little right of center line, but... Actually, wait, wait, wait. Nah, nah, we... We did it. It's nice to see that the speed brakes finally work. I remember with the 400, I had to manually pull the speed brake. Because it didn't auto-deploy for some weird reason. I don't know if it was an error on my side. And then one day it started randomly working after an update, so... Yeah. Wow, that, that was pretty nice. Not gonna lie, it, it wasn't perfect, but flying in, it felt like a breeze to fly. I was very impressed on how it was to fly it. There we go. And there we go, looking nice, looking good on the glide slope. It's such a good looking plane, too. I love it. Freezes and then go for the touchdown. See, I I didn't want to make it too soft because we want to make sure we break the friction. We don't want to go hydroplane off the runway because we cluttered it. But yeah, that was a reasonable landing there. Okay, and we will go ahead and jump into the cockpit and open our cabin door here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Charlotte. Thank you for your cooperation, and you are now free to deboard my aircraft. Or should I say Delta Wings aircraft? Because it's designed by Delta Wing. There we go. Ah, Charlotte Douglas. Ah, beautiful aircraft. Yeah, guys. So thank you to the developers. Thank you for our, everybody that came in the chat here. We had a lot of people today. It was a very busy stream. Um, don't know if it was anything to do with the aircraft. I'm going to assume so. But yeah, thank you to everybody that chose to come on by here. 
Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun to fly this aircraft. We'll fly it again next weekend. Um, yeah, and also the A320 gets released next, not this weekend, not the upcoming weekend, but next week, Monday, A320 Neo gets released. Oh, the wing looks awesome. Gotta say, this is a beautiful, but yeah, the A320 Neo gets released next, uh, the following weekend, so we might fly that, um, on the 26th, I have a regatta for rowing on the 25th, so we'll need to fly that on the 26th. But, uh, yeah, um, thank you to the developers for giving me a key to this aircraft, and I hope you all enjoyed that. If you guys want to get the aircraft, uh, link down in the description of the video here, it will redirect you straight to the, um, uh, to the X-Plane Orc Store, right to this exact aircraft. They have tons of options. They have the CRJ-700, 900, and 1000. 1000 is the newest here. Came out a couple weeks ago, about, well, in the beginning of the week, I think came out. Um, I knew it was coming because on their website it said CRJ-1000 livery, so I knew this thing was coming pretty soon. When you see that, you know that there's a new plane coming. But yeah, um, one thing here that I think might need to get fixed here is the jet bridge has a slight issue. It doesn't like to connect to where the door goes. It connects to the window, which is not a big thing. I, I wasn't really even using it, the jet bridge. I was just going with... Here, I can show you guys. I might be one thing. I don't know if that's because of the R variants. It just gets in between them, but yeah. This jet bridge does not like to connect. And now it's not going to connect. Embarrassing. Why? Okay. Yeah, thank you guys for coming on out. We're going to end this here. This is weird. Let's do that. But yeah, uh, thank you to everybody that came out to the stream here. Beautiful day to fly, except for the weather on the inbound. But yeah, yeah, that's why the door does it. It doesn't line up perfectly. But yeah, so thank you to everybody that came out. Thank you to Glenn Bixley. Thank you to the, both of the developers. Thank you to Young Aviation. Mr. Yeah, Mr. Greek is the developer. Wait a minute. Young Aviation and A321 something. I can't remember what your channel A321 channel. Um, thank you guys for coming out, and we'll see you guys next time. For now, goodbye.